Okay, my name is Dino. This is the Emerson Q236 that you're gonna that is on eBay right now. Um, it's the Snow White radio. Um, I'm gonna start showing everybody the back because I'm gonna save the best for last. Uh, over here is very fine wire. Uh, it's the antenna wire. It's like a green uh, enamel coated copper wire. There is some. Um, covering still left on maybe an inch or two of it. I don't know if this came with the radio or uh, if that was the antenna wire that came with it or if that was added. I don't know. Um, and here's the power cord. It's fabric covered. It's all in good shape from one end to the other. No frays or anything. And the Bakelite plug here. Let me see if you can get a good look at that. And the cord is fabric covered. It looks like it used to be white or beige. Uh, it's darkened with age and there's some red thread highlights in there. Um, the Emerson badge and the model number. <clears throat> Inside, I don't know if you could see, but I could see the tubes. They look like big uh, mummy cases or something. Now turn to this side and you can see a couple of little nicks and scratches. The radio is in original condition, unrestored, which I'm a big fan of. I don't like restorations. I think things are worth more money if you just leave them. Original condition. And this is working. I'm going to show you that in a minute. I'm going to turn it on for everybody. And this side, this is a, it looks like in sometime in the past, someone had taped with electrical tape this antenna onto the side. And this is the glue residue, this black stuff. It's probably 50 or 60 years old because it's not sticky and the cotton glove just goes right over it. Um, but it is there. And some minor little edge chipping on this. Here's the top of the unit. Nicky Nicky. And um, this looks like more of the tape residue. Although it might be a different kind of tape. Maybe they use cellophane tape to tape the antenna wire here 60 or 70 years ago. And a uh, little nick there. And the edges look very good. Now I'm going to show you the bottom of this baby. Oh, oh, look at that. Teddy Drew TV in Glen Head, New York, 1975. So I guess it got serviced in 1975. Uh, actually, that's my birthday, but not my year. 522.75. Toddy Drew TV, 648 Glen Cove Avenue, Glen Ed, New York. That's a couple. That's right up the street, next town over. We're in Roslyn right now. And this is a little note for me that I saved it from the trash, July 30th, 2008. And uh, my name, because I saved it, I should be memorialized on it. So that's the bottom anyway. Okay. Now the best for last is the front. And I'm going to get everybody a good shot. I'm going to plug it in at the same time while you're looking. Okay. Plugged in. Now I'm going to turn it on and turn the volume up like three quarters. It has to warm up, and while it's warming up, I'm gonna show some details on it. Okay. I'm gonna show from head to foot. That's one of the knobs. It's an acorn-shaped knob, and there is some wear on the, on the end. No damage, just wear. Okay, it just started humming, which means it's warmed up enough that I can start tuning it. But before I tune it, I want to finish showing the characters. There's some possible wear right there. On, that's about the only wear I could see on the paint. And I'm going to show everybody everything. But I don't know if it was supposed to be that way, if he's got a patchy knee. Uh, That's the other knob there, the other egg corn knob there. Okay. And your tuning dial, oh, did we get him? That's um, 
sleepy, I think. No, that's sleepy. Okay, that's Doc or something like that. Okay. Okay, this guy here. Some possible wear on the edge, on the brim of the hat there, but again, it's original. Unrestored. Some, in some little girl's room back in the early 40s. Okay, now we're going to zoom out. And I'm going to tune and pick up a station. Now, I don't have the antenna out, but let's see what we could do without the antenna. Nothing. I got to stretch the antenna. Maybe I'm going to edit out stretching the antenna and come back. But actually, it's just... There we go. Okay. Let me stretch this antenna. Okay, now we'll tune it. There's one, one station. Couple of little stations coming in. Geico.com and you can save 15% or more on your car insurance. And your Geico time check. WCBS News Time 548. Expanded traffic and weather together on the 8th. Just in the volume. There's no static or dead spots in the volume or the tuning can go to minimum or maximum on those with no problem. The grill. Bring your attention to the grill. There's a little wear on the grill from the, over the years, the tuning needle, which I believe this is the original needle. But the rest of the fabric, you can see the design, no problem, and it's there. You know? Again, unrestored, original kit, working condition. Okay, have fun, Diddy. And thanks for looking. Turn it down. And there's the indicator light, and click it off.